हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप दैट यू आर फीलिंग वेरी फाइन हैव गुड माइंड यू विल गेट गुड फाइंड बिकॉज गुड माइंड गुड फाइंड ना बी रेडी एंड लिसन टू द समरी ऑफ द स्टोरी द टाइगर किंग आई यू नो द टाइटल इज द टाइगर किंग नेचुरली देर इज अ इमेज इन योर माइंड एन इमेज ऑफ अ टाइगर would have flared on your screen about the lion really this story is not about the lion but this this name is about a boy about a child this child this child uh, took birth to a king in the palace and he was only 10 days old then uh, some astrologers came to the palace and the father of the child ask them about the fortune about the future of this child then the chief of the astrologer said that the child would become the champion of champions the hero of heroes but one day he would die then the 10 days old child spoke bluntly that there was no sense in the prediction of that chief of the astrologer because everyone dies one day there was no not any sense then he said means the child said that there would be sense if the astro- astrologer would have predicted about the manner of his death how he would die really the chief astrologer was very much uh, shocked and surprised with other uh, other friends and he was looking very closely at the 10 day boy and he was really uh, surprised and he gave the answer how he would die he said that the child was born in the hour of bull and the bull and the tiger are the enemy that is why he would be killed by the tiger or his death would come from the tiger now the child roared and he said that beware of the tigers then all the astrologers with the chief astrologer were stunned and shocked now this boy was the coat of wards coat of wards means the child who is fostering who is uh, brought up in the court aisa bachcha jo rajdar rajdarbar mein palta hai usko court of wards kehte hain bachcho to he was the court of wards and when he became a boy of 20 years old then he said he said to his diwan that uh, he should he should tell he should spread the news all over the kingdom the name of the kingdom is pratibandhapuram he said the diwan to spread the news all over the kingdom that nobody would kill any tiger of that kingdom if anybody if if anybody dare to kill any tiger or throw a stone at the tiger certainly his all wealth would be confiscated confiscated means jabt kar liya jayega all his wealth would be confiscated and he would be punished and when this spread when this news is spread all over the kingdom nobody was ready to kill the tigers and in this way he was successful in killing 70 tigers only in 10 days but at the same time there was a british officer and he wanted to kill the tiger and not only to kill the tiger but he wanted to get his photograph with a dead ti- tiger uh, with a gun in his hand but the tiger did not allow him he refused his proposal and he said that uh, he could he could order 
to kill or he could order for the hunting of the mosquitoes uh, for other animals but he would not allow to kill the tiger to the british officer but when he saw that he was going to lose his kingdom due to the fury of the tiger uh, british officer then he bribed 50 golden rings to the wife of the tiger uh, to the wife of the british officer and in this way uh, he convinced the wife of the british tiger uh, the wife of the british officer and now he called the he called the chief astrologer and he said that uh, what if he killed 100 tigers then the chief astrologer said that if he if he would be successful in killing the 100th tiger certainly he would crop his hair and he would cut his tuft and he, he would be become the member of the lic and also he would set the fire on all the books of astrology is prakar se jab usne pucha chief astrologer se ki agar main 100 tiger ko maar lunga to fir tum kya karoge to usne kaha main apni sari astrology ki pustakon mein aag laga dunga aur apna baal katwa lunga apni choti katwa lunga aur main lic ka agent ban jaunga but now the tiger uh, the tiger had killed 70 ti the king tiger had killed 70 tigers but uh, all the tigers came to extinct in his pratiband uh, pratibandpuram in his kingdom then he made a plan an idea came in his mind he said to the divan to to find out to search such a girl in royal family that state had uh, a large number of forests with the tigers and the divan tried his best and found the such a girl uh, in whose state there were many forests and tigers now he married that girl and he would uh, visit his father in law's palace many times and every time he he was killing five to six tigers and in this way all the tigers came to extinct in that kingdom also but he was successful in killing 99 tigers now only one tiger was left to kill to be killed now the tiger king was really very much upset and uh, he said to the divan to to spread the news all over the kingdom that if the 100 tiger would not be found certainly all the farmers would be levied double time taxes for their for their farms for their agriculture and the officers would lose their posts the divan when the divan came to know that he was going to lose his post then he arranged for the 100th tiger from the people's park in madras and he dragged the tiger from the people's park in madras into his car in the midnight and directly he took this tiger to the forest where the tiger king was Uh, hunting the tigers and the tiger king had promised that he would not hear any kind of problem any kind of case till he killed the 100th tiger now first of all he took the tiger into his house and uh, from the house he dragged the tiger into his car and then he took to the forest Uh, directly just in front of the tiger king and when the tiger king saw the tiger without any moment without wasting any moment he aimed at the tiger with his gun even though the tiger did not uh, come out of that car 
but by force when the divan dragged him out on the ground the tiger prayed the ti the tiger prayed the tiger king with joint handed that what was his guilt why the uh, tiger king was going to kill him but the tiger king did not uh, did not bother to give the answer of this tiger and uh, he aimed at him the tiger was really unconscious and he fell down upon the ground in a heap then the tiger king no uh, knew that he had killed the hundred tiger and he was elated he was overjoyed and he came from there and he ordered his men to to take that uh, tiger to the kingdom to the court but when one of his men came near to this tiger he saw that the tiger was blinking his eyes then he knew that the tiger was not dead he was alive but he saw, he saw he thought that this news should not be go to the ear of the tiger king so he he shot this tiger and the tiger was dead now really the story is going to take the turn uh, dramatic turn now one day the tiger king was going to to celebrate the third birthday of his child he he wanted to give a very nice gift to his child on this birthday and he went to the market and many shops was searched by him and on one shop he saw that there was a toy tiger he bought the toy tiger and he gifted it to his child and uh, he one day he was playing with the child on that day but there were many fibers uh, like needle slivers were there in the uh, toy tiger and one of the slivers one of the fiber or needle fiber pierced in his right hand and uh, it took this uh, this sore this wound was flared in his hand uh, the hand was infected and it uh, took the shape of the uh, separated sur separated sur means a phode ka aakar le liya s o r e sur means phode then some surgeons were called for the operation three surgeons came from the madras and they operated the tiger king the operation was successful but the tiger king was dead really the end of the story is ironical it is uh, a comment on the people on the kings or on the high profile people who kill the animals without any thought without thinking that they are also killing the life thank you very much and the answer of the questions will be given in the next part